Happy Halloween, everyone! I've never done a Halloween video, but since horror is my favorite genre of anime and I've sort of become a cartoon channel, I may as well tell you about my favorite horror animes that you may not have heard of. Starting off strong with one of my favorite animes of all time, Made in Abyss. Don't let the cute art style fool you, this anime is deeply disturbing. Made in Abyss follows the story of Rico and Reg, who journey to the bottom of a mysterious pit in hopes of finding Rico's mother and answers about Reg's past. Rico is an 11-year-old orphan living at Belchero Orphanage, and Reg is a mysterious robot called an Abed. Drawn in by the lore of the Abyss, the pair meet a cast of mysterious and unique characters who help or hinder their journey. Made in Abyss has possibly the best world building of any anime I've ever seen. The Abyss is fleshed out and well explained while still leaving so many mysteries to discover that will have you dying for more. One of the first things that drew me to another was its attention to detail in the art style. If you look at the backgrounds during the anime, you could see just how much work was put into them. The small details do a lot to show how decrepit and run down the small rural town is, and it gives you a sense of unease. Another is a great example of show don't tell, as you won't know what the actual conflict of the series is until a decent way into the show. Another is a mystery horror anime in which members of class 3 and those associated with them start mysteriously dying. The main character Koichi has to figure out not only what is causing these deaths, but also how to stop it. Throughout the entire show, you will be theorizing and trying to figure out the answers to the many questions I promise you'll have. The anime also poses the question, is it worth it to sacrifice one to save many? I know Higurashi is a bit more well known, but it's in my top 3 anime, so I feel the need to discuss it anyways. Before I get into it, I am only talking about the first two seasons. I cannot stand Go or Satsu for reasons I will be discussing in a 10 hour long video sometime next year. Similar to another, Higurashi is another small town horror mystery anime in which the main characters must find out what is causing the seemingly random but violent deaths and how to stop them. All of the characters in Higurashi are very well written and likable. There is not a single character in this show that does not serve its purpose. You're going to be a bit confused as to what's going on at first, but once you find out, you're going to lose your mind. The music and sound effects for this show are absolutely fantastic and unnerving. That mixed with the actual pacing of the show add a great sense of dread and unease to the experience. Talentless Nana is not what you think, but I can't tell you why. Once again, despite its very adorable cast of characters, it's a very disturbing anime. The anime is set on an island where kids with superpowers train to learn how to use them and go to school together. Eventually, people start dying and everyone is forced to figure out who the killer is. There's sadly not much more I can say without spoiling, but this anime will have you crying and questioning your morality. I've not really seen people talk about this one before, and I'm not sure as to why. From the New World follows four teenagers as they go to school and learn to harness their psychic powers. In this world, all humans have psychic powers, so it's considered pretty standard. They also live among creatures called Queerettes, which are kind of like human mole rat things. They're sentient but considered lesser beings and are pretty much just workforce slaves to the humans. I once again can't really say more without spoiling the show, but these four kids go on a camping trip and learn a dark truth, and nobody's lives were ever the same. I cannot stress enough how much I enjoyed this anime, it poses a lot of questions about ethics and perspective that will fill you with emotions you didn't even know you had. <laughs> Shiki is yet another small town horror anime, and if you haven't figured it out by now, I really like those. Shiki follows Natsuno Yuki, a jaded city boy forced to move to a small village with his parents. Suspicious deaths begin occurring in the town, again, maybe I like this trope a little too much, and Natsuno becomes determined to find out what's behind them and stop them. I'm giving such a short summary because saying literally anything else about the plot will spoil it. This anime will make you cry and will make you question how you perceive things. Erased is less gory than other horror anime, but because it has to do with murder, I'm including it. Satoru, the main character, is an adult living a pretty sad and boring life until he's sent back in time to solve the murder of his elementary school classmate, Kayo. 
Not only is this mystery anime about solving a murder, but it's about growing as a person and learning to be aware of your surroundings and be involved in your own life. Erased is probably the most emotional anime I've ever seen. You will cry, because this anime is beautiful and tangible. Every character is extremely lovable and you'll end up feeling protective of all of them. High Rise Invasion is in part really cool because of the setting of the show itself. The characters are mysteriously transported on top of skyscrapers that are connected by bridges, with no way to get down aside from, well, jumping and not living. The main character must find a way to get off these skyscrapers, but people in masks with assorted weapons begin to chase her. Again, anything else I could tell you about this anime would be a spoiler, so just go and watch it yourself. The theme song is also really cool for this one. Before I get into this one, just know I only recommend season 1 of this show before switching to the manga, as they absolutely butchered the second season. A bunch of orphans are living at an orphanage, but things are not as they seem. This anime is incredibly disturbing and has twists and turns everywhere. Every character is pretty likable, even the villains, which is something I like about this anime. You'll find yourself crying over heroes and villains alike in this show. Darwin's Game is a classic death game anime in which downloading a mobile app, players are forced to play a fucked up game of tag in which one kills the other. This is an anime about survival. Each player has their own sigil, or power, that helps them fight. There are also special events in the game, which I won't get into because of spoilers. Yet again, I just recommend you check it out for yourself, especially if you enjoy the death game genre. There's tons more anime I could have covered in this video, but honestly, I'd rather save it for next year's Halloween. Also, I'm lazy, but you guys already knew that. If you guys are interested in crimes, cartoons, or chaos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe with notifications on, and I will catch you on the flip side.